Hello, I'm John Tyler and today I will be showing you how to control the resistivity of your wafer dicing cutting water. But first the terms. Resistivity, resistance, conductivity and conductance are all terms used when discussing the electrical properties of wafer dicing cutting water. Resistivity and conductivity are the correct terms. If you want to understand the difference between resistivity and resistance, and likewise conductivity and conductance, just send me an email and I will explain. Resistivity is the specific electrical resistance of a given material. The unit of resistivity is the ohm meter, with the Greek symbol rho. Conductivity is the specific electrical conductance of a given material. The unit of conductivity is the Siemens per meter. It has the Greek letter sigma as its symbol. So, how does resistivity relate to conductivity? Resistivity is equal to the inverse of conductivity. And of course, conductivity is equal to the inverse of resistivity. Here are some equivalent values. One ohm meter is equal to one Siemens per meter. 1 kilo ohm meter is equal to 1 millisiemens per meter and 1 mega ohm meter is equal to 1 microsiemens per meter. More commonly used units are meg ohm centimeter and microsiemens per centimeter. The relationship between meg ohm centimeter and microsiemens per centimeter is the same as that of meg ohm meter and microsiemens per meter. That is to say, 1 meg ohm centimeter is equal to 1 micro siemens per centimeter. So back to the subject at hand. Why control the resistivity of the cutting water? Water used in the wafer dicing process is typically deionized to remove impurities commonly found in city water. Water that has been deionized by definition, has had its ions removed. Without these ions, water cannot conduct electricity and becomes highly resistive. Deionized water used in wafer dicing is typically around 18 meg ohm centimeters. That begs the question, why is that a problem? The problem is that the friction of the dicing blade creates a static charge. The fact that deionized water is highly resistive means that it will not dissipate the charge, but in fact supports it. The charge, if dissipated through the wafer, would damage the circuits on the wafer, creating significant yield loss. Not only that, but even a small charge will attract silicon particles to the surface of the wafer, making it very difficult to clean. Fortunately, the solution to the problem is a relatively straightforward one. The resistivity of the dicing water can be adjusted by adding the appropriate dicing fluid. In this case, I used Curfade, Curfade 286 to be specific. I performed a simple experiment in which I varied the dilution ratio of Curfade to DI water and tested for resistivity. I have created a table that lists the results. As you can see, it is merely a matter of using a specific amount of Curfade 286 to set the resistivity of the dicing water. In summary, highly resistive DI water supports a static charge. The charge can damage devices and prohibits cleaning of the wafer. To resolve these issues, reduce the resistivity of the wafer dicing cutting water to below that of 1 meg ohm centimeters by adding Curfade 286. Please send me an email for additional information or visit www.dynatex.com. Thank you.